Hi, I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about a simple technique that has originated and existed in ancient India for the longest period of time. A lot of us already do this with our yoga practice. A lot of us already do this simple technique, but once we understand the amount of health benefits that this simple, inexpensive, powerful, and literally free technique can provide for your body and for your mind, you want to start doing it over and over again. Now, the position that I'm talking about is nothing but the simple, most powerful Shavasana. Shavasana is also known as the corpse or the dead body uh, position. Many of us think that you do that just to relax or once you finish your yoga class, you know, we all look forward to that 15 or 20, you know, that five or 10 minutes of Shavasana where you lie down on your yoga mat with your palms facing up, your legs falling freely on one on either side. And then your teacher guides you through simple breathing relaxation processes. We feel good. It makes us all feel good. But when you understand really what's happening in your system, you're going to want to be doing this every single day. Whether you do yoga, you don't do yoga. There are a lot of people who don't like doing yoga. That's fine. But you can still do Shavasana in the comfort of your own home, in your hotel room, wherever you are. Number one, the reason why we do Shavasana is for extreme relaxation. Now, we keep talking about the benefits of deep rest, sleep, deep relaxation, because in deep sleep and deep relaxation, that is where all the magic in the human body happens. The healing, the rejuvenation, the repair of your cells, the lowering of your inflammation, the balance of your hormones, and all of this magic happens while you sleep or you are in a state of deep relaxation. Now, how many of you have done yoga and you move into Shavasana and within three to four minutes, you find yourself into a deep sleep already? It's not because you're just tired because you finish one hour of yoga. It is because it is designed, Shavasana is designed to basically put you into deep relaxation and deep rest. So usually yoga works on the principle where you first get into your asanas, followed by your pranayama followed by your meditation and then you do your shavasana where you lie down and your entire body your muscles your bones they literally melt into the ground and in that deep, deep state, of, state of relaxation you are required to breathe simple deep belly breathing when you breathe your belly comes up when you exhale your belly comes down so the inhale when you do shavasana for the first time you can put your palm on your belly and as you inhale your belly likely rises as you exhale your belly likely comes down this is called diaphragmatic breathing it is the way that human beings are designed to breathe and when we breathe this way everything changes in the human body a lot of us breathe the wrong way we breathe through our chest so when we breathe our chest rises and then our belly rises but belly breathing is with your belly breathing your belly rising first and then your chest so number one shavasana is designed for fatigue when you are tired, when you are physically or mentally or emotionally fatigued, okay, you don't have time for a one hour yoga class, it doesn't matter. Roll out your yoga mat or just lie down on the floor, okay, keep your palms up at the side of you, your legs just flop on either side and your deep relaxation, you just start breathing with your eyes closed and watch how the fatigue and the tension literally melts, melts away from your mind and from your body. This is great for people who have anxiety and depression as well, because you need deep relaxation, deep rest to basically help anyone to calm down, reduce anxiety levels, or even to move out when you're going through complete depression. So Shavasana can be easy, even used for anxiety and depression. Your blood flow, this is great for Shavasana. Why do you feel so relaxed? after your yoga class when you're in Shavasana because Shavasana improves the blood circulation to all of your cells, your tissues, you know, everything that's been worked out, your brain, every cell in your body gets oxygenated with the vital oxygen when you're in this deep state of rest. When you're moving from one thing to another in the day, you always find that you're not breathing the right way and most of us do not have the right amount of oxygen reaching us. So when you're tired or you're fatigued or you're feeling low, just roll out that yoga mat, move into Shavasana for five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. In most cases, if you're doing it the right way, you will fall asleep into deep, deep sleep. A lot of you who fall into sleep during Shavasana will understand that that depth of your sleep is very difficult to replicate in your normal night's sleep. This is great for people who have insomnia and sleep problems. We've had a lot of clients of late who've had sleep problems and we've told them, hey, listen, just before you get into your bed, once you finish your meditation, your prayer, roll out the yoga mat at the side of your bed, go into the Shavasana position, 
okay? Many people, they say we fall asleep on that yoga mat. You fall asleep, just continue sleeping on your yoga mat throughout the night, doesn't make a difference. But if you move into that deep sleep of relaxation and you suddenly come out of it, slowly get up onto your bed and go back to sleep. Shavasana, when practiced for a while, can help people with insomnia and sleep problems. Now understand, I understand today's human race, everything is instant grat gratification, which means we want instant results. So if I'm saying do Shavasana, you wanna see the result the first time you do Shavasana. It's not gonna work that way because there are no chemicals chemicals in Shavasana. There are no chemicals that are going to work with your body and alter your mind and do all that crap that basically chemical drugs do. So you're going to have to do it a couple of times until you start seeing how it's really benefiting your sleep, especially insomnia. It repairs your tissues and your cells, like I said, which is why you feel so relaxed. It doesn't have to just be yoga. You do a weight training session in the gym. You come back from a run. You run a marathon. You're training and running. You do an intensive HIT workout, a dance workout, CrossFit. It doesn't matter. Finish your warm, finish your cool down, your stretching, and move into Shavasana. Shavasana is the best way to relax all of those muscles because it pushes blood flow to all of your cells, to all of your muscles and everything else. And we need to understand that most muscle growth, most lean mass develops in a state of deep relaxation and a state of deep sleep, which is why sometimes recovery is more important than the amount of workouts that you do. Recovery is more important than the amount of workouts that you do. If you're overtraining and you're undersleeping, you're overtraining and you're, you're not relaxing well enough, you'll find that you're not getting the benefits of your workout. People with blood pressure, again, this is fantastic. You feel your blood pressure is rising up, you get a throbbing in your head, migraines, it's restless feeling, your hands start shaking, move into Shavasana. If you have access, you have your own office or whatever it is, keep a yoga mat with you wherever you go, roll it down, you know, go into Shavasana for a while and you can see that it has a direct positive impact on your blood pressure and even your blood sugar levels because you see, the human body heals in a state of relaxation and in a sleep, state of deep sleep. Your drug to heal you could be nutrition, chemo, radiation, allopathic drugs, homeopathy, Ayurveda. It doesn't matter. If you are not getting the right amount of sleep and deep relaxation, you cannot heal. So sleep is the foundation, deep relaxation is the foundation, and then your pills work better, your nutrition works better, your exercise works better, your Ayurveda, homeopathy, whatever it is that you take works better in a body that has the right foundation. It's as simple as that. So Shavasana is something that every one of us can do. Teach this to your children as well. Teach this to your children as well. If they're hyper, if they're running around, you know, all of that stuff. Learn to make them calm down. Learn to make them calm down through processes like deep breathing and Shavasana. The elderly people can do it. Everyone can do this. And like I said, it's free. It doesn't cost us any money. But a lot of people don't like doing free things. I know that's some strange psychology, only if there's a price tag to it or something, you know, uh, it, it's made fancy or packaged really well, or some celebrities doing it, that's the only time we start doing it. But please look around in your own country, look at the wisdom that you already have and start using that wisdom. It's simple, it's free to start making a difference to your life, your sleep, your health, your emotions and everything else. You could be stressed right now, so stressed, and all you do is roll out that mat, lie down, okay, completely, and you start breathing. Slow, gentle breathing at your pace, and you move into deep relaxation. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.